to pick one up. But most important thing, go subscribe to AOK -OK Product Reviews. Talk to my boy Rich. Maybe you will win a free made out of some some metal, maybe aluminum or stainless steel. I think that might be a bottle opener. I think that might be a top popper. Pop top. Drink your beer. Pop the top on the beer. Am I right, Dick Rich? I think that's what that is. Man, I appreciate all that stuff. That's awesome. So, let's take a look at this here three knife. Hey, Dick Richie here. Yeah. So I'm making a video and this video is kind of in, in response to a video of one of my subscribers who won one of my one of my giveaways. He just recently won the Petrified Fish PF719. I got my AOK -okay Ace on Knives, boom, bowling shirt on kind of thing. I did have this shirt on. So in Indiana right now, if you're not aware. Yeah, see that? That's sweat. I put this shirt on, and I walked out to the barn to watch a buddy of mine hook his truck up to my trailer, and I didn't lift a finger, and I sweat my <laughs> off walking out there. So the only shirt I had in the studio was this shirt. I never wear it. It's kind of comfortable. I just feel like it looks weird. So, it is what it is. But it's got my AOK -OK logo right here, a little pocket. It's stretch material, makes my arms look stacked. Little tricep. Oh, did you see that? Look at that. All right, this is a video in response to one of my subscribers, Tim School Fish. Now, unbeknownst to me, Tim's got his own channel too. That son of a gun called me a hippie. And he's acting like he don't know. Like he don't know where the Midwest is. Hey, Tim. I think you know where the Midwest is. Yeah, this is Tim's thing. He likes to pan in on his eyeballs and his brim of his hat. And he likes to act like he's talking to somebody else or somebody. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's crazy. I just yeah. uh, stole Tim's little, little thing he does. I might start doing that. I'm going to make it my own. I wouldn't do that. That's like stealing a joke from somebody. Okay, a couple questions he had. You know, what does Woods Edge do? That's my company, guys. I am a lighting designer. Yeah, I have my own company called Woods Edge. This is my business card. And if you didn't notice, it looks a little bit like my logo from my review company. Because it's almost the same. I carried over these logos I designed myself and had a graphic artist make them into logos for me. Yeah. Here you go. But what I do is, is I design my own lighting and I make it from scratch out of Indiana. Yeah, Indiana's in the Midwest, Tim. Flyover states. I know. People fly over and they forget who we are and what we're about. That's okay. Kind of okay with that, to be honest with you, because the people that do fly over and forget us are people that I didn't care if they knew us in the first place. But I'm glad you know about us now, Tim. So what I'm going to talk about here real quick is Woods Edge. He posed a couple questions. Now, you don't have to be in the wood in the Midwest to buy my stuff or get my stuff. Now, I am a woodworker locally as far as making like fireplace mantles, big bean lights, things that aren't really easy to ship. But if you get online and you check me out, The Woods Edge Company on Etsy, I've been selling lights on there for eight, nine years. Working for myself for that long too. It's been fantastic. But I'll tell you what, you can see all the lights that I sell and I ship for free in the United States. Shoot, I pretty much ship for free all over the country, all over the world. I ship a lot of lights to the United Kingdom, France, a couple of other countries, Puerto Rico, which is basically America, and then Canada, You've got to replenish your electrolytes. I think. That's what they tell me. I don't believe them. I think it's garbage. But yeah. Check out my lights. Yeah. 
I make this from scratch with Indiana barnwood. If I don't use barnwood, I use a lot of live edge wood from pretty much species that are from this area. Cherry, walnut, oak, pine, cedar. I do all kinds of stuff, all kinds of wood. I'm a wood guy, kind of a woodworker. I'm not really a carpenter and I'm not really a fancy woodworker like fancy schmancy. I'm a rustic guy. Yeah. Tim called me a hippie. I think I'm more country than Tim. Just Tim's got this big, he's got this big, big burly beard looking thing that's gray and white. Looks like an old man. He's probably younger than me. Yeah, that's a challenge. Age challenge, Tim. I'm a man of challenges. I like to challenge people that I that I interact with in life. You know, you don't want it just to be a boring relationship. You want your friendship or whatever you grow to be kind of challenging. Yeah. That's why I'm called Zipline. Dick Ritchie. Dick Pick. I don't care what you call me, really. It doesn't matter to me. But there was also something else in there. Come with me. We're going to chat. Come on. Okay, I'm back. Now, what I did was I went to look for a beer bottle. All I have is beer cans in my fridge. He had a question about this. Now, you guys know, all you fellers out there and ladies that have won, if you're special, I send you one of these. Yeah, it is a bottle open. Right here, you can tell. Right there. Put that. You're popping a top. But what 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 you can't tell just by looking at it is I'm a microscientist and I have placed a chip inside this without you even knowing seamlessly. Placed a chip inside this stainless steel bottle opener, Tim. Yes. There's a chip in there. And when the world's gonna go to shit, apocalyptic style, yeah. This thing's gonna make a little audible tone. Each one's different. And it's maybe a hum, like a or maybe a or maybe a I hope they do that. I don't know what they're gonna do. You should see how small the speaker is. Can you see it? There's a speaker right there. That's going to go off. Now, what you didn't know is your vehicle, all of our vehicles have them. They have a little slide and insert, like a credit card thing. You don't even know where it's at. You won't know until it happens. Your car is going to light up. Your dash is going to light up. There's going to be a little thing here with arrows going insert. It's going to say it digitally, insert ace card. Beep, 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 beep. Slide that sucker in there. This thing's going to hook up to your GPS in your vehicle. And it's going to give you a one-way trip to Indiana. Indiana. Right here, where I live. It's the only time you're going to know where I live. Is when you have this, and it's the end of the world. When you get here, in my back 40, if you remember, or don't know, you should know, I got five acres. I got an underground silo. You get in there, you put your card in there. It's going to lower you probably, like my sound effects, it's going to lower you down underground approximately three to four stories. I dug the hole myself. Yeah. Now, you're underground. And you're going to you say, Dick Ritchie, what do I do when I'm underground? What is it, like a coal mine? No. You get down there, it's like a, it's like one of those caves that you go down in and it opens up. Yep. And it's like a bullfighting arena. But for night fighters. Yeah, only a strong will survive. The one person that wins, he gets to get back in that silo, put the car back in. He gets to go out, and then he's going to Thunderdome. Because he's the sole survivor of the AOK -okay, -okay night fight. He has confidence now. Now he can take on the world. He can take on all these crazy, I don't know, these crazy marauders that have the weird helmets with the horns. 
now you know I've case paint and the leather leather chaps on. Yeah, Mad Max stuff. Yeah, now he's got to go fight them. So I don't know if winning's a good thing. I should have thought this through a little bit better. The whole AOK -okay, knife fighting arena apocalypse. And then the winner's just this poor bastard that crawls out of the silo with cuts all over him because he just knife fought about 100 people. Yeah, this is like a bad subscriber story. This is not good. You don't want to win this, actually. Sorry. Thought it was a, it was a great gimmick and something that you would want to do. I don't want to do it. Shit. Shit, it's a fan. I'm taking off. I'm not going to be using mine. You guys, you get down there, you're going to think Dick Ritchie's going to be down there ready to knife fight. Oh, I mean, this week I'm giving away the Civivi Hadros. Last week I gave away the Kubi Momentum. The week before I gave Tim School of Fish the Petrified Fish PF719. 719. Call it what you want. Gentleman's knife. Yeah, CEO Carry. He says he's going to keep it in his drawer. I think you ought to carry it. He's a fancy guy. He tries to act like he's not fancy. He's fancy. I can tell he's fancy. Call me a hippie. You're fancy. One of those fancy Florida guys. You know, with your curly lock beard kind of thing. Your little Miami Dolphin hat. Look, he's right there. Look. Shoot. Check him out. Talking about the lanyard on the PF fish knife. That's crazy. I didn't even plan that. I mean, I knew he was going to be back there, but not... As I'm speaking. All right. Giveaways. I give away one knife a week. If you don't know my channel, I give away one knife a week all of 2023. From started in June. First of June. I've already got knives that are going to take me into 2024 giveaway. Have the out. So, so if I like Indiana right now, it's like 100 degrees. Invictus Mineo. My man knows how to Google. Some guys wouldn't have even Googled that. Victus Mineo. Okay, so this is one of my other stickers slash logos. And that's the... Oops. That's the A-OK. -okay. Ace on knives. Hand with a knife going down to the O. I like that. Ace on knives. Victus Mineo. I remain unvanquished. That's my preferred way of saying it. Unbeaten, unvanquished. That's the Armstrong Scottish Crest. I have my own clan. I'm, I have a Scottish clan. I'm an Armstrong. And that's underneath an arm holding a bloody leg. Because arms are stronger than legs sometimes. Especially in my case. Alright. So, it's Armstrong clan. Invictus Mineo. We remain unvanquished. We're a bad dude clan. Yeah. We're not very popular in Scotland. Because we're bad dudes. We, also, we are also called Reavers. Yeah. You know what a reaver is? It's a river pirate. We were river pirates. We were right on the South River, right on the south side of Scotland, bunked up right next to the United Kingdom. Yeah. So the Armstrongs, I'm going to tell you some of my history. I don't want to go too far into that. It's a deep, dark history of the Armstrongs. We were river pirates. We were kind of forced, in a sense, we are kind of forced to play both sides of the river. They're far south. So Scotland, at times, couldn't support them like they needed to be. So when that happened, the Armstrong clan had to sometimes fight with the United Kingdom. Up, down, down, up. And they did some bad stuff on that river. Pillaging. Yeah. It wasn't good. They were strong. Having 1,500 men on horse back in that day, it's like having a tank division today, or say a battleship with jets, or what is that, uh, carrier, jet carrier, I don't know what they're called, like having that, with jets, yeah, but the king of Scotland took care of them, and it got bad, and it is what it be, enough about that, that's where the, the, the saying Invictus Mineo came to. Because through all that, they still remained unconquered, unvanquished.
So that's it. That's the history of my family. What not? I guess my family, my clan. I'm not straight from Scotland. You know, I'm maybe a generation or two separated. Yeah, so I've never even been to Scotland. I want to go. We're saving up to go to Scotland, my wife and I. And we had all the money we probably would have needed to go. And COVID hit. And then when COVID hit, we kind of screw it. And then that vacation money kind of went back in the bank or here or there kind of thing. So yeah, it's enough about my family and all that crap. I have wardrobe changes in my videos. It's like Hollywood up AOK Stadium. I say stadium. You hear Lola? I'm Lola. Look. Hey, I'm a shot cat. Isn't that cool? See that little hole right there? That's a cat condo. She spends most of her time in here on the couch. Through the summer. Looks like I got AC in here. Tim, it's not just bottle opener. Buddy, this is a lot more.